Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today, we are gonna talk about the JText Paint class, which is a subclass of the JEditor Paint class. So for your information, the JTEXT Paint class is used for style document with embedded images and components. So let's start with coding. So I have the my frame class here, and I also have the test app that Java class here, which is my main class where I'm creating my frame object. And the my frame class is inheriting from the JFrame. And I'm gonna write the most most of my code here in this class. So what I'm gonna do is that I will comment this code. I will rather set the layout to be flow layout. And I will say container for call this pain. Say this that get content pain. So I'm gonna use this pain to make sure that I'm getting access to the content pain. Um, and after that, I can create my JText pain object. New JText pain. Import the JText pain. And after that, so I can call it text pen here. So say text pen. Now I have the text pen instance. I can also create, uh, I'm gonna start by setting some attributes. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna say simple attribute set, I'll call it attribute here, assignment operator, new simple attribute set, semicolon. I'm going to import that particular class. And then I'm gonna use the style constants. It's all. I need to pass two arguments. The first one will be the attribute set I created here. And the second argument is going to be a Boolean parameter. So I will say true, for example. So now I'm gonna add some more attributes before adding text. So I will say text pane, because that's the name we gave to the text pane, that set character attribute make sure you put s at the end and here what i'm going to do i'll pass in two arguments i will say attribute set the next parameter will be a boolean value and i'll say true for example so now i can set the text of the text pane so i'll say text pane that set text and here i'll pass in a string so i'll say hello world like that okay so that's it um i can do the same thing again so i will add another attribute set here that will be new simple attribute set and then i can define the style constants again so i'll say style constant set italics so I'll say set italic in the brackets i will pass in attribute set and then so just like what I did here. Okay, so these are some of the things I need to correct this. It's constant like this. So the next line of code I'm gonna write is gonna be document, or this doc new. I can call it a document. And then here I'll pass text pane that gets style document. Then import document class so that the next line of code would be document that insert string and I'll say document that length open and close. Um, no, this must be get length, like this, and I will pass a string value here. You see how are you? And then the third parameter would be the attribute at let me add an exception. So the next thing I will also add another attribute set, new simple attribute set. Let me copy this, paste it here, and I'll say today. That's it. So you know what I I can do is to add a scroll pane. So I'll call this scroll pane, new j scroll pane. And here I'll pass text pane. So I'm going to add a scroll bar to the text pane. And uh, now if I want to show all of this text pane to the frame, I will simply do this pane because this is, um, you know, the line of code, the statement that is allowing us to get access to the content pane, the content pane of our frame. So I will say pane that add scroll pane, then order layout that center. So I'll comment this set layout line here. And that's it. And now when I run, I'll say document. So, so run with try catch. 
So now when I run, yes. So now you can see the text showing and different text is having different style. So all of this is based on the attribute set here. Okay. So we created the first attribute set. We styled it, set bold and all of that. And here the set pay, the text pane, we set the character attribute. We added the text, created another attribute set. We styled a constant to italic. So, and then here we added how are you and all that. So that's why you can see when we run, how are you here is actually in italic. We can also play around some, for example, if we want to add some more styling to that, what we would do is to simply write style constant that set foreground so for set foreground actually is going to determine the color of the text so here we say color that white okay so we can also work on the background color of this particular text like that and here we'll say blue for example so now when you run there you can see all of this has changed so i can copy that and i can say here that we want to set the font and in here new font console now uh, old and 28 foot font size let me put the font class um here i will say font size up to 28 like this and let's see what will happen yes so now you can see that the font size has increased you see what i'm gonna do for the other attributes here i'm gonna change the foreground for example or the background here i'll say uh, red like that and if i come here as well i'll say green for example as the background and then when i run so there you can see how the text has been styled differently all right so guys that was it on the j text pane how to create that and uh, work around the uh, various attribute sets and put some style into the text so i hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like to share and subscribe to this youtube channel for more videos like this one let's meet in the next one